are in the season of giving, and what more important gift that can one give than the gift of life? And that's why Eyewitness News is partnering with the American Red Cross to hold a blood drive next Monday. Joining us now is Beth Sweeney, the executive director of the Southwest Indiana chapter of the Red Cross. And Beth, thanks so much for being here with us today. You know, blood is critical any time, but what is it about November and December that makes it so difficult to, to get blood in? Well, you know, we start getting into winter weather season. People are having seasonal illnesses. They're not able to donate. Those types of things are happening. So we're really encouraging people, if you haven't ever donated before, mm -hmm. come check it out and see what it's all about. You really, truly can save a life. A lot of people take for granted that blood is going to be there for them when they need it, but it, what happens if it's not there for these folks? Well, you know, I think it's critical for people to know that blood has a shelf life of 42 yeah. days. So we always have to recruit new donors or establish new blood drives in different places. So we have to make sure that those ho hospitals are stockpiled. Uh, we're going to send blood where it's needed most. So that includes Deaconess, Ascension, Memorial Hospital in Jasper, all of our area hospitals, but also to other places that may, may need that critical blood supply. So what, what area are you talking about? It's a pretty broad area that you serve? Sure. The Southwest chapter covers 24 counties, including 14 in Indiana. We also cover several in Kentucky, Henderson, Webster, Union, and then seven over in Illinois. So wow. we have volunteers that are transporting that blood to places uh, where it's needed most every single day. Talk about uh, the instances in which blood is needed. A lot of people think, you know, a traumatic situation, a car accident, but there's a, it's a lot more than just that. Absolutely. About one in seven hospital patients will need a life-saving blood transfusion. But when you think about friends or family members who have had cancer, oftentimes they need blood transfusions. Uh, people with sickle cell disease, um, a new mother in the hospital who had exactly. complications from childbirth, those types of things that you don't even realize. Maybe someone you know, maybe someone in your own family has needed blood at one time. And something else really interesting, about 62% of Americans are eligible to donate blood, but only about 3% do. So we really want to raise awareness and let people know it's a simple process we make it very easy on you you yeah. can sign up on the app fill out most of your information ahead of time and, and come in and spend you know about 45 minutes with us so it's only about 45 minutes and and it's really it is really pretty simple right it, it is and there are so many drives available if you go to redcrossblood.org you can type in your zip code mm -hmm. but we have our special drive coming up on Monday and we're so thankful yeah. for WEHT partnering with us happening at the Presbyterian Church from 10 to 6 you can sign up for that drive as well on our website. But if you don't see a spot that's available there, we encourage you to look for another one in your neighborhood. So they can just check in the, the Red Cross website to find something near them at a convenient time for them as well. Absolutely. Yeah, they're tracked by zip code to find something close to either their workplace or their home. Several drives coming up over the next several weeks Good. and months. Is there anything in particular that's really critical at this time? Is a certain type of blood or do you need everything? We need point? everything, of course. But type O negative is the universal blood type. Right. This is typically what doctors are reaching for in the emergency room if they don't know a patient's blood type, but we need them all. We also need platelet donations. So we encourage you, if you're eligible to give, uh, give it a try. I mean, what better season to right. be able to give the gift of life? Right. And, you know, I've heard of so many people when they do go donate blood, it's usually in someone's memory yes. or because something happened to someone and they want to give back and help out because that person was helped. So maybe folks can think about those instances in their lives where they need it. Absolutely. We hear stories every Every day of someone coming in to give in honor of a loved one who yeah. may have passed or someone who is struggling right now with a specific disease. Um, so we encourage people to think about that and think about others and you never know when you may need it as well. That's the key right yes. there. You may need it yourself sometime. Okay, well let's uh, show that uh, information one more time about this Monday, coming Monday, at Presbyterian Church on Main Street in Henderson. This is in Henderson, the Henderson Holiday Heroes Blood Drive uh, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And again, like you you said if you can't make that what do they do yeah just go to redcrossblood.org type in your zip code in the top right corner there and you'll find lots of drives in your area okay beth sweeney the executive director of the southwest indiana chapter of the american red cross thank you so much for all you do and for coming here today to oh, tell us about thanks it. so much for having me always right. good to see you yeah we'll look forward to monday so yes. we'll be following up a lot for them